Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my tutorial on how to use the MIDI editor in Pro Tools in grid mode. At the top of the screen, click on track. Then click on new on the pop-up menu. Now click on mono and click on stereo on the pop-up menu. Then click on audio track and click on instrument track on the pop-up menu. Then click on create. Now click on insert A. Click on multi-channel plugin on the pop-up menu. Click on air music technology. And click on expand to. Now click on factory default. Click on acoustic piano on the pop-up menu. And then click on rock piano. Now click on the X icon. If the MIDI editor pane is not open, tap on the MIDI editor tab. Now move the mouse cursor to the top left of the new instrument track. So the mouse is this bone type shape. Then click the left mouse button. In the MIDI editor pane, the tracks pane shows the MIDI tracks in your project. The dark grey dot next to the new MIDI instrument track shows that it is the track currently showing in the MIDI note pane. Click on the virtual keyboard to hear the Xband 2 rock piano. The pencil icon shows that the new MIDI instrument track can be edited in the MIDI editor. Now click on the note icon next to grid. And click on one bar on the pop-up menu. The vertical lines on the note edit pane now show the beginning of each bar. The number next to each line on the ruler section of the edit pane shows the bar number. Now click on the note icon next to grid again. And click on one quarter note on the pop-up menu. The vertical lines on the note edit pane now show the beginning of each beat. To add a MIDI note, double click to the right of the vertical line in the edit pane. The note will automatically line up with the nearest vertical line to the left of the note. Each row in the edit pane has a different sound. Click on the virtual keyboard key that is to the left of the row to hear the sound for that row. To delete a note, double click on the note. Now double click to the right of the four vertical lines in bar one.
Now click on the play button and you will hear the notes play in time with the metronome. Currently, the notes are also one beat long. To change the length of the notes, click on the note icon next to the track name. Now click on one eighth note on the pop-up menu. Now double click to the right of the four vertical lines in bar two. The new notes are now half a beat long. Now click on the note icon next to grid again. And click on one eighth note on the pop-up menu. Now there are eight vertical lines to a bar. We can now change the length of the notes in bar one by moving the cursor to the end of the note so the cursor is a square bracket shape. Then press the left mouse button and drag left. The end of the note will automatically snap to the nearest vertical line to the left. We can also change more than one note at a time by pressing the left mouse button on the edit pane and dragging across the pane. This will draw a box on the edit pane. All notes that are touched by the box will be highlighted. Then release the left mouse button. Now move the cursor to the end of one of the highlighted notes. So the cursor is a square bracket shape. Then press the left mouse button and drag left. The end of all the highlighted notes will automatically snap to the nearest vertical line to the left. To move a note, move the cursor over a note so the cursor turns into a pointing hand shape. Then press the left mouse button and drag up, down, left, right or diagonally. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.